Oh man, Senpai, that was awesome! Hey, I remember you. You clowns were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots! Get out of here! This place isn't for you. Wait! We came here for a reason. Did Aki tell you to come here? No. <laughs> we took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. What? <sighs> what? You locked her in? That night, Maki returned to school alone. She was afraid we'd get in trouble if Fuka committed suicide. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have pushed her to such lengths if you thought, what is, what is wrong with you? But she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying on the ground by the gate. See, we got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is that really something to brag about? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. We. Oui. No time for compliments. Let's go. What's the big deal, anyway? Trey Ben. What is that, French? Yes. Lousy seniors and their lousy French. Hey, bro, come on now. Once you participate, you gotta live it to the fullest. Don't tell me you to hesitate. Take all chances, make mistakes, learn from the gotta gotta pay, take your takes. Never give up, a man's gotta fight. Chain back and relax in a light. Kill the look out at night, be a knight. Chariot out racing. Senpai, that's not it. Huh? What, it was just the regular gym key? Uh, oh, I see. <clears throat> Akihiko is rummaging through the keys. You spot a key right next to where he's looking. It says gym on it. Uh, no good. It's not here. Must be in the janitor's room, where Mitsuru and the others went. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Are you blind? What? I'm telling you, it's not... Uh... Oh, how about that? Well, at least we found it. Come on, let's find the others. They said to meet up at the main hallway, right? We should get going. Aren't we done here? We need to hurry back. Somebody shut that goddamn wolf up! Mitsuru and the others were already waiting at the entrance Did hall. you find the key? Yeah, piece of cake. We'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour has begun, I'll determine Yamagishi's position. I'll go. You should come too. You can take the lead, like always. Um, then I'll be the third. Wait a second. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei. We'll give you another shot. Sweet! Thanks! <laughs> Seriously? What's wrong, Yukari? You don't want to stay behind with Mitsuru? Um, no, it's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. Well, great. You take one of my characters away that's very useful and leave me with Akihiko, who has no levels to him. Meanwhile, in a vacant room at the dormitory... I... I'm all alone after all. Fuka. Huh? No! No! I don't want to hear this! Calling me. I... I have to go. T 
tell her I'm sorry. Fuka. You did this to yourself. Inside the school, which has become torturous during the dark hour, Yukari and Mitsuru are waiting at the um, entrance. Um, we still haven't heard back from them. The transceiver's sensitivity is set to high, too. Oh, yeah. That girl, Natsuki? I hope she's okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't possibly bring her here. And one of us staying behind was out of the question. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. But we're all here for Fuka's sake. This is Mitsuru. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Is he out of range? I'm starting to get worried. We got separated? Oh, that's just great. It seems you were unconscious. You appear to be inside Tartarus. But you don't see Akihiko or Junpei anywhere. You can't hear Mitsuru either. Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Where are the others? Don't worry. You'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. Okay, then. I hope we can speak again. The mysterious boy disappeared. Communication is breaking up. Are you all right? Distance too far. Can't provide backup. You got s from Aki. <laughs> so this is why I know for a fact that when they do shit like that, like in voice record, like for recording, like they oh shit. I did not think you were going to be on level with me. You should be scared of me, what is this? Are you kidding me? Yeah. How dare you. I'm level 37. You should not even be on my level at all. Akihiko and... Aren't this four? Who's there? Are you human? Communication is lost. What's your current location? Reply immediate. Where am I? Why am I here? Please answer me. At least I'm assuming that's Fuka I'm talking for. I have no reason to fight you. Oh my god, they're swarming me. They're blocking me off. He was actually blocking me off. <laughs> So you think you're funny, don't you? What a dick. Can you hear me? Please answer. Is someone there? Please answer me. so much better when you have a line fully recorded and then just break it up in post. Because when you have a voice actor try and do that themselves, it's so awkward. Hey, there you guys are. Hey, there she is! Man, we were worried about you. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh yeah, did you hear a voice while you were in here? Uh, kind of like... Who is this? Are you human? That's it! That's the voice! It sounded like it came from behind us. Uh? A girl is looking your way from the shadows. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes! Wow! You're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, June pays here! I'm glad you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Looks like we made the right decision. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. Where are we? I was at school, and then... Well, it's a long story. I'll explain after we get out of here. 
Mitsuru, can you hear me? <sighs> no good. All I hear is static. Oh yeah, are, are you hurt? Have you uh, run into any monsters? So there are strange creatures in here then. I've managed to avoid them so far. Are you serious? How's that possible? Um, it, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you psychic? She has the same power as Mitsuru. Maybe even stronger, since Mitsuru's persona is more battle-oriented. Persona? Hang on to this. Akihiko gave Fuka an evoker. <gasps> but... but this is... Think of it as a lucky charm. It's not really a gun. Um, okay? Alright, let's get out of here. Inside Tartarus at a hallway with a view outside. Whoa! Check out the moon! I've never seen it so bright. Some research indicates that the shadows are affected by the faces of the moon. Of course, the same can be said for humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Was it? I think so. Why? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked, back in April? I think it was full. Today is the 8th. The monorail incident happened last month around the same time. And the assault on the dorm was a month before that. They were all during a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Shadows! Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful! Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is this thing? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. Damn it! What's going on? It's one of them. If my guess is right, they come every full moon. We have to hurry. Hey, 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 wait for me! Oh. Meanwhile, at the entrance to Tartarus, Mitsuru and Yuyukari are having trouble against the giant shadows that have suddenly appeared. Uh, uh, what's going on? Nothing's working! Mitsuru! What in the world? Akihiko Senpai! We gotta distract those shadows somehow! I know just how to do it. Hey! If it's a fight you want, we'll give it to you! Be careful. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. Someone entered the lobby from outside Tartarus. F Fuka! Why are you here? More Yama-san! Please, get out of here! It's dangerous! I... I wanted to tell you I'm sorry. Hey! Look out! Moriyama-san! I need to protect her. Foop. I thought I heard something. Anyway, Fuka put the gun to her temple. Yeah, I'm getting cold. Turned herself into a ball thing. Persona? I can see. I... I can sense these monsters' weaknesses somehow. Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take your place. We'll take care of this. I'll try and find out the enemy's weakness. Just let me know when. Okay, just give me some time. Keep it up! Alright, good job! Oh, no, that one can't take physical attacks. Check this out! Here's a chance! It? Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a- Going Nova, deal over nine- Basically a thousand damage in one attack. Oh, I thought he was done for. It has multiple I I didn't know I had this kind of power. Oh yeah, crap. I gotta make sure that Akihiko now also uh, has direct commands. Some of this weak ass lightning. You found the enemy's weakness! That was amazing!
Ew, that is an ugly persona. Oh my god. Are there more of them? Don't worry, it's over. Fuka, you... Are you alright? Yeah, thank goodness. Fuka? Fuka fell unconscious. It's alright, she's just exhausted. Fuka? Fuka, I... Where did these two shadows come from? From somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like before. I see. Um, what are we gonna do about Natsuki? She saw the Dark Hour and the shadows. Don't worry, she's not like us, so she won't remember any of it. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the shadows, even though she obviously heard their call. She should be safe from now on. But that means she'll forget Fuka saved her life, right? That doesn't seem fair. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. I think she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry. Eh. You shouldn't have done it in the first place. It wasn't easy, but you managed to rescue Fuka. You wonder about that mysterious boy who appeared again. His warnings seem to be more than just dreams. You are too exhausted to make any sense of it right now. You decide to get some rest as soon as you get back to the dorm. Hey, I was thinking, do you think Mitsuru Senpai saved Fuka because it was the right thing to do? Or was it because she's a Persona user and we need her? For the right reasons. I, I guess so. Well, whether or not she joins us is up to her. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. I wonder why Yukari has something against Mitsuru. Yo, uh, you already knew that. You know, I'm busy. If we keep eating ramen all the time, we might end up with some extra flab. You better start being careful, you know. He might be fine now, but. You don't want to be a tub in 10 years, you know? Look who's talking. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm screwed. I don't exercise like Akihiko-san after all. Still, man. You ever wonder what I'll what we'll be doing in 10 years? I don't really want to think about it. Junpei seems to stare off into the distance. You'll turn out okay. Or you'll be a great man. You really think so? Hearing it from you definitely makes my day. Wait, wait, when I do stuff like watch TV or read manga, I can't concentrate. Junpei fiddles with his chopsticks. It's like, I don't know. I should keep thinking, is this how I should be? <laughs> I wonder if there's anything I can do. Well, only I can do. Junpei mutters as if to himself. Her terrible jokes. Gee, thanks, that's helpful. I mean, Yucatan's got her response to my jokes down to his science. She delivers a dope slap that feels like an icy dagger to the brain. <laughs> hmm. When I think about this persona stuff, it's like I have a personal mission, but I don't understand it at all. Maybe I don't even have a mission like that, and that's what I'm afraid of. I've got all these pent-up emotions that I can't figure out. Do you have anything like that? Like, do you ever think about what you can do? Sometimes. I see. I mean, you don't seem like that at all. I guess that's another thing that's amazing about you. <laughs> I think we can only do one more rank with Junpei because of the romance stuff happens. I believe the romance stuff comes in at 9, and I don't think there's a rejection in the old Persona games. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying like Junpei ain't a great guy, it's just like, I don't know yet. There's other options. Oh, um, what were we talking about? <laughs> I guess talking about serious stuff once in a while isn't so bad. Oh, hey! 
Tsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are going to the hospital to see Fuka today. I wonder how she's doing. Oh, by the way, Itsuki-san told me about the antique shop in Polani is open now. Maybe we should go check it out. How the hell? What? Crap. Well, she has this amazing item created a million said years ago that can annihilate shadows. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Just ignore him. But yeah, you should really check it out. Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are both at the hospital checking up on Fuka. So we won't be going to Tartarus tonight. I mean, that's good. I guess I kind of do need that rest. Welcome. Officer Kurosawa tells me you're fighting against the shadows. To the public, this is merely an antique shop, but privately I create weapons. They're not ordinary equipment, however. My methods involve fusing weapons with personas. But you'll need a material to assist in the process, such as void... Oh. I'll give you one for free to start with. From now on, you'll need to find your own. The Golden Shadows carry such materials. There's another thing you should know, though. I'm still researching it, so I'm not certain of this. Depending on the persona you use in your fusion, you can create special weapons. All I can tell you is to experiment for yourself. I nearly forgot. If you bring me jewels, I'll trade the goods I carry here for them. You are still tired. Good morning. You might not. You might like to know that Yamagishi and Moriyama are healing up well. That's good. Yes. We need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. We could definitely use her help. Are we up to the Kamanokuro era yet? I guess not. Oh man, we haven't even reached the Nara era. So let's first get through it real quick. Then first, the Taika reforms. They happen in the year 645. Just remember that. What were they about? Oh, nothing important, really. Later on in 710, there was the Haijo Kuyo that wraps it up for the Nara era. Yes. you and Ryo practice alone in the gym, Miss Kano came by. The other club members are awkwardly trailing behind her. Okay, stop practicing. I heard you've all gotten into a fight. I can't have this kind of thing going on in my club, you know. Who started it? Just hurry up and apologize already. Ryo falls silent and stares at her feet. It seems that you can't bring yourself to look at Miss Kano. I don't think anyone in particular started it, but I do think our attitudes did make things worse. I feel like I said too much to you, after we forced you to be our club leader and all. Um, I also... Well, you guys sort this stuff out. As Kano leaves, everyone is standing around quietly. It's an awkward moment. You can do it, Ryo. Yeah. Um... I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, things were said that shouldn't have been. Uh, but more importantly than w what happened that day, I feel like I've been forcing my opinions on you all this whole time. Ryo's voice is soft and distinct, but she is speaking sincerely. Ryo, we're supposed to be a team. Sorry. Have you, like, changed? You think so? 
Ryo looks in the direction that Miss Kana left. I'm sorry that I said things like relationships were stupid. I didn't understand what I was talking about. It's tough being in love. Wait, what? Her yell of surprise pierces her eardrums. You're in love? Are you serious? Is it that hard to believe? Wait, who's this about? Is he, like, at the school? Uh-huh. Chase, you know who it is, right? Tell us. I have no idea. Chase. Rio smiles, embarrassed. You totally know, don't you? The other members pester you for information. I I'll say it. Um... It's... Kenji. Ryo turns bright red. Kenji! Yuko, when did you get here? I mean, Kenji? Seriously, no way. How in the world did you end up liking Kenji? The gym is filled with girlish screams of disbelief. Still, getting him to love you would be pretty simple. I bet all Ryo would have to do is push him around a little. It's okay, I'm not pushing anyone, or saying anything. I don't want to do anything to hurt the relationship I have with him right now. We're childhood friends. As long as we stay that way, we'll never have to break up. I don't have a chance with him anyway. I'd hate to confess it to him and have to stop being his friend. Well, if that's how you feel, then it's none of my business to say otherwise. Hey, as long as we're all here, why don't we practice? Yeah, I agree. Come on, let's start off with running with some running. The other club members have returned, and it seems that the bonds between them will grow so much stronger. You sense that Ryo has overcome a personal obstacle. Let's go! Keep the two lines intact! Sup, dude? They're at the hospital again visiting Fuka, so I guess we're not going anywhere tonight. And I wonder when she'll be ready to come along. Hey, don't just assume that she'll be joining us. I hope they're not trying to push her into it. Okay, you already did that. Did, you, did another level just get added? Because I swear there was only like five. Now there looks like there's six. You are no longer in a great condition. How sad. Oh, well, I have a favor to ask. Are you free later today? A favor? Uh, I'll tell you later. Look, if you're available, let me know after school. I'm begging you. Junpei is pleading with you. You receive a text message. It's from Akihiko. <clears throat> Fuka has been released from the hospital. We'll talk to you this evening. Go to the command room as soon as you get back. Hey, you on your way home? Do you have some time? I need someone to help me study. Junpei looks a little embarrassed. Oh really? Let's stop by somewhere. Man, I'm sorry. I just can't figure this homework out by myself. Ask me anything. Awesome. Seriously, I don't even know what I don't know anymore. I've been avoiding math ever since I started going here. All this vector and trenjo gonometric ratio stuff sounds like magic to me. Junpei looks fed up. Alright, I'm gonna do this today. I'm gonna overcome my fear of math. You're on fire. Just watch me get through this, and help me out once in a while. Junpei dives into his homework with a great show of confidence. So the circle inside triangle ABC, where AB equals AC, is... Uh, surprisingly, Junpei is actually taking his homework seriously. You helped Junpei as much as you could and waited for him to finish. If that's the case, then the answer is... 40! Huh. 
Am I done? Woohoo! I did it! I got through all of it! Shh! Uh oh, S sorry. Uh, <laughs> well done. Whoa! I could get used to hearing that. Hey, thanks. You were a really big help. Junpei looks cheerful. Uh, I was thinking about really trying hard for once. I always thought that stuff like math would never help me in the future. But I noticed that it might be important, even if you never use it. It's like... how do I put it? What matters is how you put your time to use. I don't think I can start lecturing you on how to live your life or anything. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just doing what feels good in the moment. But in the end, it doesn't satisfy me, and even bothers me even more. Yeah. I guess I've just got anxiety or something. But I think I figured it out recently. I haven't found anything yet, but I get the feeling that I will someday. As long as I'm with you and everyone else, I guess friends are important after all. I think I understand. Really? I totally thought you were going to start laughing at me. <laughs> Junpei seems a little embarrassed. You're always doing your best, all the time. It made me want to act like that. I mean, your study, you're in clubs, aren't you in the student council too? I think that's amazing. It's rare for Junpei to sincerely praise anyone like this. After hearing what he thinks about you, you feel closer to him. So, um, hey, that guy over there, is he a friend of yours? Huh? He hid. You turn around, but there's no one there. He was looking your way. Looked like he was holding something. A camera? Junpei jumps to his feet. But what are you going to do? I'm gonna catch him, of course. Oh, he got away. <sighs> I've seen his face, so it's okay. You just leave him to me. Make sure you get him good. Huh? Oh yeah, leave it to me. Violence isn't always the answer, Missy. Junpei shrugs. Anyway, let's go home. Sorry to keep you here so late. Uh, try not to go home by yourself from now on, okay? Cause every night I will see